Well, thanks to my brother Larry Hall up in Brainerd, Minnesota, the bounty just keeps coming in. A lot of these nice little red maters. They're not getting very big this time of year, but they still are turning out nice. I pick them a little early and let them kind of finish ripening in the house. But uh, still getting plenty of good peppers and uh, all kinds of stuff. And because I'm taping the television show later this month for the Shotgun Red Variety Show on RFD TV, I'm not going to have time. So I picked all the rest of my green tomatoes and look at these rascals. Now whether you want fried green tomatoes or what I'm going to do with it is I'm going to run them through my my little slicer and then slice up some onions, put some salt on them, let it soak overnight, add some red peppers and then some sugar and vinegar the next day and cook it a little bit and put it in a jar. I'm going to make me some great chow chow. This stuff is outstanding. But this is kind of the last of the goodies for this year. <clears throat> Today is October the... Was it the 10th today, Sheila? So I got a mountain of green maters that I, I could have left on there. But we're getting down in the 40s and 45 degrees at night. And uh, I just didn't want a little snap to nail us one night when I'm busy trying to tape the show or something. So I just went ahead and picked them. I'm going to slice them all up and turn them into chow. And these will go into the last of the fresh BLTs. And then next spring in Larry Hall's rain gutter grow system we'll start producing some more stuff we have gave away and froze and made salsa and I've never had so much success in growing tomatoes and peppers and all that kind of stuff and them little these little yellow ones hiding down here the Sheila loves these and that's why they're all gobbled up she ate them last night with some turkey sandwiches nice big yellow uh, banana peppers so well, anyway Larry I want to say thanks a lot our family thanks you my little belly thanks you and this is good stuff this is the last of the last for this year and uh, hopefully we'll uh, get it all started up again next season talk to you soon Steve Hall in Nashville Tennessee saying hi to my brother Larry Hall in Brainerd Minnesota bye bye this goes out to my brother Larry Hall up in Brainerd Minnesota he's always showing tips on different things now I got a few little green tomatoes left and I got them all cored out over here getting ready to go in the slicer with some onions and I'm gonna make uh, pickled relish out of it and uh, but I just wanted to show something they got these little core things you're supposed to core them out and I'm hold this to Sheila if you want to film this Sheila and instead of digging that little core and popping and working on that every one of these I just I just slice it in half and then I do a little cut like this on one side and a little cut like that on the other side and basically if you take the tomato it's basically cored out but you don't have to dig and auger and pop and work and all that stuff it's real simple when I take it I just kind of snap the stem off I slice it exactly in half and then I just make a little V cut on this side and where the stem was over there I make it just a little quick V cut it's so much easier than digging with a thing and it's just as cored out and ready to slice up is the rest of them so I got a whole bowl full of them here and that's what I do I just thought I'd give that little tip it makes it a lot easier than digging with that little round thing for me and it seems like it saves a little more of the tomato for uh, for my relish it gets rid of the hard core and just like that with the tip of the knife thank you Sheila for helping me film and here's my bowl of stuff and I'm getting ready to put it in my little slicer I got a few more of these to core out in my slicing procedure and that's it but anyway that goes out to my brother Larry Hall up in Brainerd Minnesota it's an easy way to core out little green tomatoes with the tip of your knife all right talk to you soon bye bye well it's all over with now but I just got done putting up some jars of pickled chow chow I took some green tomatoes and chopped them up not quite as many onions and chopped them up and a couple of red peppers put them in this pot and covered them with some some canning salt about a half a cup or so let it sit all night long and it sucks most of the moisture out of them then I threw it in a colander and rinsed it off then I put it all back in here again and took some vinegar about four cups of vinegar to seven cups of sugar that sounds like a lot of sugar but dumped it in here mix it up brought it up to a simmer and then I took a little coffee filter believe it or not and uh, filled it with some uh, pickling spice I love well I just love to smell it pickling spice and I dropped that in there kind of mashed it around in there for 15 minutes I cooked the uh, green uh, tomatoes just long enough to where they would be uh, tender I threw in some other stuff too a couple other goodies I can't remember what all goes in there I think some some mustard and some other stuff you can look up a lot of recipes on the internet and then I put it in the in jars after I got all the lids and all that stuff so I'll put them in my little canner here 
and here is the finished product. I didn't have a lot of green tomatoes but I got seven pints and man they look good in there. All the little goodies and all the all the lids sealed up real nice if they go don't don't uh, don't put it on the shelf put it in the refrigerator and eat it up but this has got all them little red peppers in there and some onions and these are all green tomatoes out of my garden which is outside the window here there it is over there I plucked the rest of the rest of the green tomatoes because it got clear down to about 38 last night and I got some other TV show stuff I got to work on so I don't really have time to mess with it so I peeled the rest of them off there about uh, October 10th ish of this year here and uh, use use them up good this stuff's good on hot dogs and hamburgers or just eat it in a little pile alongside of any meal chow chow but I wanted to send that up to my brother Larry Hall in Brainerd Minnesota and tell him thanks for getting me started on all this cooking and canning and rain gutter growing and it's really turned into quite a deal you get a quite a bounty out of this stuff you really actually save money it's a little bit of work but it's a lot of fun anyway Larry I just wanted to show you my newest little batch of these green tomatoes and onions and and red peppers and they are going to be yummy in fact I'm gonna crack one open and start eating it tonight talk to you later see you bye well Sheila and I just couldn't take it we we're out here on the lake today so we went ahead and unplugged everything and we backed out of our slip which is right over there and we're just gonna head out onto the lake today it's just absolutely spectacular out there so we're going to go for a little cruise and, uh, and take the boat out got a guy here cutting across in front of me I'll get him There's two ways to look at this if you're driving a car a person to the right has the right of way but on the waterway the larger boat has the right of way so but he seems like he's having too much fun to bother him so I'll just let him cut across in front of me and uh, we're pulling out of the marina just going out for an evening cruise for no other reason just to go out and look at the leaves starting to change on a lot of the trees across over there so but it's a beautiful day don't you think so she she I think so. Sheila thinks so and it's just spectacular so we're going for a cruise talk to you later broski